So here I have the power supply, the power supply red and black lines are connected to this circuit which is actually uh, for simplicity I have shown the circuit here. You have the same circuit which I just now did. This is the voltage supply V1 10 volts we will set it up here and three resistors R1 3.9 K, R2 8.2 K and R R3 4.7 K. The same resistors are shown here. This is R1, this is R2 and this is R3 and this is the load resistance which is 3.3 K and this is the load resistance. So, the red wire is connected to this end that is this point and the black is connected to the ground line common line at the bottom and therefore, the input is connected from the voltage source this is now I have to set this for 10 volts and I should remove this and measure the voltage across this point using this multimeter in voltage range then I will be able to measure the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Let us do that. So, for that I remove the load resistance therefore, under open circuit condition I have the multimeter I will connect the one end to the ground. I will take the other end and connect it to the point where R3 is coming. So, this is the this is the multimeter. Now, I will switch on the multimeter to voltage range. Now, I have connected to voltage range, put it in volts and connected to DC. Now, it is reading 0 because I have not switched on the power supply. I am going to switch on the power supply and it is set for about 10 volts. So, this is around 10 volts as you can see on the screen 9.9 .9 to 10 volts and 10 volts is applied with the three resistors. I have removed the road resistance and measuring the output resistance, uh, output voltage, output voltage is around 6.89 or so. So, we, we actually calculated a value of 6.78. We see here it is around 6.9. The difference is because these resistors are not the exact values as it is mentioned here. They, will, they have some 5 percent or 10 percent tolerance and therefore, the actual resistance value will be slightly different from the values that I have specified here and therefore, you get the actual voltage corresponding to this combination. I, but you can see it is very close to what we actually discussed and now I want to measure this is a Thevenin's voltage because I have removed the load and measuring the voltage output using the multimeter. So, this is the Thevenin's voltage V Thevenin that we have measured. The next point is to measure the uh, Thevenin's resistance for that what we have to do. I will first switch off and I should remove the voltage source and connect it by a short. So, I will take a small short wire, I will remove this red wire, I will connect that point where the voltage source is connected to the with a short. This is a sharting wire which has come in place of the voltage source and I have to now measure after removing the load which I have already done, I should measure what is the resistance. So, I should now change the multimeter to resistance range and see how much is the resistance. So, I will move it to resistance range, I will press here. Now, I have done that. So, the three resistors are there and I am measuring the resistance using this multimeter and I hope you can see the reading here is about 7.19 kilo ohms or 7.2 kilo ohm. We calculated something close to 7.3 kilo ohm. We are getting here around 7.2 ohm, uh, the 2 kilo ohm. That is why there was a difference also in the output voltage when we measured the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. So, we have actually calculated the Thevenin's voltage, we have also calculated the Thevenin's resistance. Now, I have to connect the load resistance and measure how much is the thing. So, I will again remove this chart. I connect the load resistance 3.3 K once again 
which I removed previously. Okay, now I will connect the power supply back. So I have connected the load resistance 3.3K in the same circuit. I have connected this power supply also back after removing the shock. Now if I switch on and measure the load resistance, I want to just measure the load resistance. I want to push it into voltage. So now I have connected the voltmeter back to voltage, DC voltage. And I have switched on, this is again around 9, 10 volts. And what is the output voltage? Across the road, VL. Across the road, RL, the VL is 2 point, around 2.13 volts as you can see. And therefore, the load voltage is now 1.3 volts under the condition of all the resistors in place. Now what we will see is, we have calculated the V thevenin, we have calculated the R thevenin, Therefore, now I am going to introduce the V thevenin, R thevenin only and put the load resistance and measure what is the output voltage. If we again get 2.1, then we have solved the circuit. So let us now try to do that. What I am going to do now is take this power supply out and set here 6 point. We got around 6.3 or so, right? 6.2 volts. About 6.2 volts, I have set it up. Now, what I am going to do is, I have here a resistor which is a potentiometer, a variable resistor. Let us first measure what is the resistance of that potentiometer. So I will take the multimeter in resistance mode and calculate what is the resistance of the. Now it is around 7.8, 7.8. I can adjust it to some smaller value. So it's around 7.5K. I think we calculated the uh, Thevenin's resistance to be 7.3 or so. So let me make it to 7.3 by moving the potentiometer knob. So it's around 7.3K, right? So we have now set the Thevenin's resistance by using a potentiometer. We have set the voltage source to give an output voltage which is equivalent to Thevenin's voltage. Now, I will connect this across that circuit, a smaller circuit, simplified circuit, and now I will measure what is the output voltage using the voltmeter. So, I connected the voltmeter across the load 3.3K. This is the Thevenin's resistance. This is the Thevenin's voltage source. So I have, I have discarded the original earlier circuit and I have got only two resistors. One is the potentiometer which I have set equivalent to Thevenin's resistance near about and this is the load resistance which is again 3.3K and the voltage source which is 6.2 uh, or something, 6.2 volts, right, 6.2 volts. Yes. So now we will have to measure what is the voltage. You can see the voltage is around 2 volts. We calculated to, to be 2.1 volt in the actual situation and therefore it comes very close to that. And I already explained to you whatever difference is because these resistors that we have used are not exactly equivalent to whatever the color code says. There is a tolerance variation. Therefore, you can see the Thevenin's equivalent circuit also gives about 2 volts. This circuit also gave 2 volts when I apply 10 volts here and then measured the voltage across the load. And therefore, you can see the whole circuit can be replaced by an equivalent Thevenin's resistance and Thevenin's source. 